Hello, it is Thanksgiving Thursday, November 28, 2019. Steve Cypress here, and usually today is Throwback Thursday, but today is a special holiday edition since it's a big holiday, at least here in the U.S. I know there are sharp entrepreneurs you're watching from all over the world, but here in the United States, today is a holiday we call Thanksgiving, and Geo is ready to greet our guests and say, hey, happy Thanksgiving. We have 20-something people coming over today. So my wife has been slaving all week to prepare. We have three different tables all set and all fancy and all kinds of stuff is all over the place and food and drink and you name it, indoors, outdoors. We are ready for the annual feast with friends and family that we call Thanksgiving. Now, here in the U.S., there are two important lessons you can learn about Thanksgiving. Anyone that has flipped around the TV dials or checked out social media for the last two days has seen these two occurrences. And I'm here to translate for you what that means for your business, specifically why 90% of small businesses or all businesses fail in the first 10 years. And about half go out of business in the first year. It's because they don't know how to bring in money to the business. They don't know how to sell, how to market, how to advertise effectively. And one of the big keys, I talk about it a lot, is they attempt, they get all caught up in selling people what they need instead of selling people what they want. And the second biggest thing is illustrated by Thanksgiving, and it's today's lesson. Don't understand human behavioral psychology, which is the basis, along with math, those two things, make up the basis for all of effective advertising, selling, marketing, communications, persuasion, influence, manipulation, coercion, whatever you want to call it, getting people to do things, including getting people to buy your stuff. Now you're sitting there going, man, I don't understand. I started a business. I have an excellent product or service. I solve a problem. There's so many people out there that have this problem that I can solve. I hear that all the time from business owners, how frustrated you are that you know there's thousands or millions of people, depending on if you're a local business or international, there's so many people that are hurting, that need my solution. I've got such a great solution. Why don't they buy? I don't understand. Here's what you're underestimating, and it's illustrated by what's going on here in America this week with Thanksgiving in two different ways. You're not understanding human beings' threshold for pain threshold to withstand and stay under terrible circumstances and make excuses and do all kinds of twisting themselves into pretzels, uh, in fact, turning it on its head and convincing themselves how noble it is to be suffering. And that's why people are not buying your product or service, because it's noble to suffer. And they will continue suffering until you figure out how to do it right, how to communicate properly, how to influence, persuade, advertise, market, sell your excellent product or service to people that definitely need it and definitely would want it if you got better at making them realize they want the solution more than they want the red badge of courage, the honor of suffering. So here's two ways it shows. First of all, here in Arizona, yeah, look at this. It's a cloudy Breezy day, rain clouds, it's the forecast is to rain later. I'm not wearing uh, shorts and a stupid red Hawaiian shirt because it's only about 60 degrees today, but compared to the rest of the country here in the U.S., holy cremoli, this is incredibly beautiful weather. You could take a dip in a pool, pretty much. People have heated pools here. Take a dip in a pool today. But I'm seeing on the news all kinds of storms all over the country and all kinds of Trucks are sliding out of control on the ice and causing 28 car pileups and people are stranded out in the snow and the ice and they can't get to their family and airports and flights are closing and people are piled up and people are suffering through and then you see the interviews and people are like, well, yeah, it's just the way it is. You know, you got to leave early and we understand. That's why I booked a flight 17 days early because I know I can't travel when I want because of blah, blah, blah. People are making all kinds of excuses for why they can't just, like down here. There are no excuses down here. We can go wherever we want, whatever we want. Nothing's being canceled. No roads are blocked by ice. It's not treacherous out there. Yeah, there's a little bit of traffic when people are going where they want to go, but there's no 
life-threatening circumstances of, oh, I'm stuck in the cold and the rain and the ice and the sleet. I mean, we lived, I lived up north my whole life. So I remember winters, I remember one year, I don't know, about 10 years ago or so, we were living in Chicago, my beautiful wife Michelle and I, and there was like 20 inches of snow dropped on Thanksgiving, and we had family coming for only a couple hours away that took like five, six hours to make it, and it was all a noble experience. Oh, we're laughing about it. Oh, well, you know, that's the way it is. But that is not the way it is. But that's how your prospects are thinking when they are suffering from the problem that you can so easily solve with your excellent product or service, they're making excuses of why it's noble to suffer. Well, you know, I just have this heart condition, so you understand, or my back hurts, so, you know, I can't bend over and I can't lift heavy things and I can't pick up my grandkids and I can't play golf and I can't enjoy things I used to enjoy because I have this back problem. Well, you have a solution for back problem, but they're going through life suffering nobly saying things like, oh, you know, it's just the way it is, and I've tried everything. Hear that a lot. I've tried everything, but they haven't tried you. You hear that? You're so frustrated. They haven't tried your product as using. You know it works, but you're not conveying to people who are immune to solving their problems because of the nobleness of suffering. Here's another example. This whole deal about Turkey, what is the deal with this? For days, my beautiful wife, Michelle, has been on the phone and talking to people and asking, well, how do you... How do you defrost it? How do you cook it? When do you start cooking? When do you stop? How do you reheat? How do you cut it? How do you carve it? How do you let the juices not? The... So people are purposely, all over America, people are cooking an item they don't know how to cook. They're not good at it. They don't enjoy it, or else they do it more often than they get good at it. So, but they're nobly suffering. Well, you know how it is. We don't have, and there's jokes about a Chevy Chase in the vacation movie with the chicken, I think it was Christmas, but the, the turkey kind of like just dissolves on the table like, oh, well, that's the way it is. You know, turkey's hard to cook and it's hard to carve properly and you got to do this. And you got to get up at three in the morning to start cooking anyway. People love suffering. They love the attention that brings them. They love the symphony they get. There's all kinds of reasons. Uh, and not, I don't have time to go into this on this video. If you want some help with this, by the way, and more importantly, people often, they don't, you don't even know what help you want. So they don't go to helpfromsteve.com and get my help. I'll let you know. We'll, I'll ask you some questions. I'll find out your situation, and I'll let you know what help you need, and if I can give it to you or if I can point you in some other direction. But at least we'll uncover what the problem is. What's, what's the, the stop up in your flow of sales? Why aren't people buying your stuff like crazy? I assume it's an excellent product or service, or else please don't watch my videos. Please don't sell your crap to people. Only come here for help with selling stuff that really solves problems. Like I said, though, people love their problems. There's many reasons people love their problems. They love to be sick, because then they get calls and cards, and people cook soup for them, and people say, oh, ah, and they post it on social media. Oh, I'm not feeling well. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, they get 200 likes and 200 posts, and Facebook loves showing that around. My videos they won't show around. But they love showing around stuff of people looking for sympathy, so you get that sympathy. All kinds of reasons people love their problems. You, as a business owner, by definition, are a problem solver. You see a problem and you put together a solution known as a product or a service or both that will solve people's problems. Remember Thanksgiving when you realize why your excellent product or service that can solve so many people's problems so easily, quickly, and efficiently, and cost effectively, why they're not taking advantage of it. And sometimes why even if they buy your product or service, they don't use it. That happens a lot in my industry as a consultant. I will give advice to people that, oh, they'll ask a question, I'll give the advice, and they disappear. They don't use it. They keep doing the things that don't work. There's a reason for that, folks. So you want to get really good at two things. Number one, understanding human behavioral psychology so that you can make your solution more desirable for your prospect than their pain and their problem. Not as easy as you would think. People love their problems and they love their pain. It serves them well. And number two, you've got to understand for yourself that a lot of people will not take you up on it and you need to sleep well at night and be okay with that. Do your best. Create your product or service. Market the heck out of it. If you've got an excellent product or service, you need to advertise, market, and sell it hard. You need to really care about getting this solution to people, and that includes knowing how to present your solution so people will value it more than they value their problem.
because they love their problems. This is America, last I checked, a free country. Nobody has to live up north. Nobody has to stay in a bad situation where every year they make excuses. Well, you know how it is, blah, blah, blah. It's another tough winter. But last I checked here in Arizona, still the United States, pretty easy to get here. We just drove. Took two days. We drove right from Chicago to here. Left on a Friday night around 11, 8, 11 p.m. Got here on a Sunday around 11 a.m. So day and a half drive, and we were out of the ridiculous excuse-making bad weather and bad corrupt politicians that have run the state into the ground. And we got to the beautiful state of Arizona, where there's lots of other problems that still exist in the world, but weather ain't one of them. So that's it for Thanksgiving Thursday edition of my daily live video. Go to Small Biz facebook.com slash smallbizhelp if you want to get on live and get some help post a comment question concern below if you want my reply and go to helpfromsteve.com if you want my help personally one-on-one -on -one with anything at all just figuring out this whole game of how to sell stuff how to get your solution into the hands of people that have the problem and for some reason are immune to reaching out for it just like they're immune to leaving their miserable circumstances they love prefer complaining about them or they they don't cook things they know how to cook they cook things that they can be so noble and go well you know how it is it's difficult to cook this turkey and no one can figure it out and i don't know and who and who and, and, and people love their excuses and their circumstances you got to make them love your solution more that'll do it but Thanksgiving Thursday, have a great holiday, everyone. I'll catch you tomorrow on Foundation Friday. Bye-bye.